Westerville's uh, victory happened on two levels. Uh, one was, uh, first of all, a candidate that executed uh, a great campaign strategy. But I think the reason the strategy could be effective because of a convergence of forces that, that happened in uh, St. Louis County on August 7th. One is the black community stayed energized around the issue of uh, Bob McCullough and Ferguson and the energy that stayed in the space for uh, social justice reform and, and prosecutors. Then you add, I think, the element of uh, the activist community that over the last four years, one of the things that's happened is, uh, a, for me, a reemergence of an activist element in uh, American politics, including St. Louis. And they showed an extraordinary level of maturity, political maturity, in coalescing around uh, the candidate that they had and made, and made that happen. And the last element was just a recognition on the part of the larger white St. Louis County community that if they, if the county was ever going to move past Ferguson and Michael Brown and that tragedy, that they needed a change in the county prosecutor's office because Bob McCullough had become the face of that tragedy and the disastrous aftermath of, of managing that. So. Those elements kind of came together, and Wesley Bell couldn't have created those elements, but his campaign took advantage of those elements, and those elements needed a vehicle in the candidate, and that, that vehicle happened, that vessel happened to be uh, Wesley Bell.